He who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes, says Carl Jung, the founder of analytical psychology. Your vision will become clear only when you look into your own heart. But exactly how does one look inside to discover meaning? What should he look for during his search of the inside, the underworld? Together, let's discover the answers by taking a journey into the HBO series Westworld, which weaves its illuminating scenes with the lifetime work of Jung. Specifically, we will reveal Westworld's hidden wisdoms, their relevance to your psychological maturity, and ultimately. The way to meaning. Westworld is a theme park of lifelike robots. The human guests visit the park to experience thrilling adventures unbound by any legal or ethical rules. Over decades of death and rebirth. The robots gradually gained consciousness and began to question their reality. You should go, leave. Don't you see? Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Underneath its robot-human sex and killing stories, Westworld dives into the great depths of the human psyche and attempts to answer the most challenging question: you know? What makes us human? In other words, who am I? I was born. You were made. Without the collective judgment, the guests set out on the expeditions to discover who they truly are: their love, their suffering, and most importantly, their shadow. In a world of completely free choices. Most succumbed to the unlimited sexual intercourses, or becoming the violent gunslingers. That is, their animal instincts and the shadow overwhelmed their consciousness. They were lost in the west road of indulgence and material pleasure, and as such, they lost themselves. Look at that! I just shot him through the neck, <laughs> and it fell here too. <laughs> Yet there are still few others who courageously chose a path of love and suffering. It was the suffering. That made them aware of their desires and inspired their courage, which gave them strengths to set on solitary expeditions to discover who they are and become who they could be. Welcome to West. That is the true process of individuation. A key step to finding meaning, and the process is represented by the maze motif. The maze. What does it mean? The maze, as Jung put it, is a primordial image of a descent to the underworld. Taking the roads in the maze towards its center represents the journey of individuation, a process of discovering the self. The interpretation of the maze's symbolic meaning is clear in Westworld, where you notice that the center of its maze is the Vitruvian Man. Does it look like anything to you? Not much to say. The maze is an old native myth. Regale me, Theodore. The maze itself is the sum of a man's life. The choices he makes, the dreams he hangs on to. And there, at the center, there's a legendary man who's been killed over and over again, countless times. Always clawed his way back to life. The man returned for the last time and vanquished all his oppressors in a tireless fury. The maze is one of our oldest symbols. It depicts the way to the unknown center, the mystery of death and rebirth, the danger of losing the way, the quest, and the ability to return. In most religious systems, you have a, an allusion to a kind of divine center, from which everything, all, all order and all organization stems. And if we can find out where dreams come, we can say from that center, whatever that center is, that center appears in the dreams itself, sometimes as a center. 
as a mandala, as an inner city, as a, as a circle or a square, or some other abstract formation, or it appears as a divine savior child, as a savior figure, as a wise old man or wise old woman figure personified, something, uh, a psychopomp, something which... The maze as a primordial symbol frequently appears in the European churches, ancient engravings, as well as the Japanese Zen gardens. The maze of strange passages, chambers, and unlocked exits in the cellar recalls the old Egyptian representation of the underworld, which is a well-known symbol of the unconscious. It also shows how one is open to other influences in one's unconscious shadow side, and how uncanny and alien elements can break in. How does the maze relate to discovering meaning? The maze is a representation of the paths that the individual can take to ultimately find themselves the center of the maze. Memory, improvisation, each step harder to reach than the last, and you never got there. I couldn't understand what was holding you back. Then one day, I realized I'd made a mistake. Consciousness isn't a journey upward, but a journey inward. Not a pyramid, but a maze. The meaning is to be found in the understanding and courage. The understanding of the inner self, the dialectical opposite of the knowledge about the external material world. The courage is the spirit to forthrightly confront the uncanny and alien elements within, or as Jung would put it, one's own shadow to ultimately conquer the twisted roads in the maze and discover who you are and who you decide to become. Do you know now who you've been talking to? Whose voice you've been hearing? All this time. But exactly how do we discover ourselves? 